everyone. Welcome to Tuesday afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. How are you today? And this is something that I like to ask a friend of mine. Her name was Tree, and she passed away in February of this year. And one of the things that she taught me to ask people was, how is your heart today? We are in some amazing energy right now. We have new moon that's going to be live tonight at 11, I think it's 11.20 p.m. Eastern when the new moon rises. And or is at its peak. And um, we really need to start looking at our emotions and what is happening for us and what do we want to manifest? Where do we want our life to go? We're still in spring. We haven't gotten to summer yet. We have this whole life that we can manifest ahead of us. And the only thing that stops us from having that life is what we've experienced in the past. And I don't want to say leave the past where it is, but what I want you to do is to look at the past where it is and begin to heal each and every single one of the situations. And that is how you can look forward to your future and manifest your future in the way that you are comfortable with. And if you are comfortable working for someone else, that's amazing. It didn't work for me. I did it for over 30 years and I'm tired, right? I am 55 years old and I wanted to work for myself. So two years ago, I left the corporate world and I stepped fully into being a medium full time. And so this is what I do for a living. I coach people and I help walk them through why they go through some of the things that they are going through. When we have a physical diagnosis or a medical diagnosis of something, there is usually a metaphysical belief that's behind it. And the metaphysical means it's just in another world. And so we need to start looking at what's behind us, what can we heal, what can we let go of so we can manifest a beautiful, amazing future with a very comfortable body, looking forward to all of the things that we are ready to embrace. And so with that, I want to welcome Evelyn from Tupelo, Mississippi. How are you, Evelyn? I'm good. How are you? I am wonderful. How may I be of service to you today? Yes, I was just uh, mostly inquiring about, you know, some directions in my career or just in my personal life. Okay. Is there one, do you want to find out about your career? Ask your spirit guides? Is that what you would like to do? Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Awesome. So I'm just going to say my prayer real quick, Evelyn, and we're going to see what your spirit guides have to say. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Mother, Father, God, thank you very much for this moment in time. Thank you for allowing me to be of service to Evelyn today. As we open the door to communication with the great I am presence, we know that all words spoken will be with your wisdom, truth, love, and understanding in the highest. In this moment, we ask for the veil to be lifted in any crossover, loved one, ancestor, spirit, guide, spirit, animal, to please come through with messages for Evelyn in her highest good. Amen. Amen. So, Evelyn, one of the things I want to talk about is <clears throat> as I step into your energy and I ask spirit, okay, what do we need to talk to her about? What do we need to say? They put me in a position of being of service to people and being of service to people in a way that brings me joy and happiness. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. So one of the things that, you know, I did a job for over 30 years that paid the bills and did all the other things, but it didn't bring me any happiness, certainly no spiritual peace. And this is kind of what spirit shows it to me. It's like, there's this um, almost like a crossroads for, do I stay where I'm at just because it, pays the bills or does what it is, or is there something more for me out there? And spirit shows it to me as though you're ready for the something more. You're ready for the railroad crossing, right? Where you change tracks because here's where I was originally going and now I want to do something different. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. And so spirit is showing it to me as though it's really important for you to find a role where your heart is happy. Because when you are happy, you just exude this beautiful energy that affects everyone around you. So it would affect friends and church members and girlfriends and kids and everybody who's around you because you have, they show me you have this like real hearty laugh and this infectious energy and that when you exude that, people around you just become so happy as well. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. And so whatever career you're going to step into, because you're ready for the, um, I hear like the change of heart, right? You're ready to change 
and step into another direction. And when you do this, it's going to help you to feel, um, they show it to me as though like when you would come home from work, you would sit down on the couch and you would be really tired. Just go, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. And it's more of a mental exhaustion than a physical exhaustion. And exactly. um, yeah, and so that's where you wanna switch from the mental exhaustion, right? Cause physical we can handle, we get some sleep and it's all good, but the mental exhaustion is much more difficult to get through. And that's why spirit is showing it to me that you're really ready for this switch. Um, and, I, and I don't presume, I don't presume to know how old you are, but they're showing it to me. It's like, you need to retire this one career and go into something yes. else. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Perfect. Um, okay. And they show it to me as though like being around, literally being around people, almost like you're helping someone at, um, like a homeless shelter or helping people who don't have what they need. And it just feels like that's where you would be happy because you feel like you're making a difference in your local community. And you have this beautiful legacy that you can leave behind you by helping all of these people because you truly are a person who wants to be of service. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am, it does. And, um, because they're showing me that when we start to make this switch, this is when, um, and, and they're telling me to let you know to be very careful because when you find something that you like so much, you tend to like throw yourself fully into it. And then sometimes you can find yourself overwhelmed and go, oh no, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so they just want you to, yeah, they want you to just not take on too much. They want you to go, okay, let me just enjoy this experience without being over tired or over volunteering to help with things. And they're showing me that it's really important that when you do this, you'll find that nice balance between work and home. Um, and they're showing me that it's really important to start spending more time, how do I explain this, um, with the people that you love, like being around them and doing things together and picking up the phone and making the phone calls. Um, and I don't know about you. I don't like making phone calls. I'd rather text somebody, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they're showing me the reaching out to people. Um, cause they show it to me as though sometimes you can feel, um, I, I don't know how to explain this. They show it to me that there's a lot of people around you, but I can kind of feel like alone in the midst of all the people. Cause like if I can be with them, but I'm not always seen by all of them. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so spirit is just showing it to me that it's really important for you to be able to sit and say, okay, here's what I want to do. And you pick something that's really important to your heart that week that you want to do. And it could be sitting down mm -hmm. and writing a letter to someone. It could be calling someone, but it's a way for you to re-engage in the world on a personal basis. Um, because they just show it to me as though you can be such a devout, dedicated worker that you tend to throw all of your energy there and then you're just tired when you come home. Yes, that's true. Um, is there anything specific you would like to ask them? Okay, yes. Uh, when you were speaking of like a, uh, going into another job, I'm having an uh, interview next Monday, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And this particular position is something that I know I would be more comfortable in. Mm -hmm. I just need to navigate it a little bit different and not, like you say, just put all of me into it and just, you know, pace myself at it. Yes. So I guess, uh, would that be a good fit for me? I feel as if, as if it would be, but, you know, like I said, I have to interview for it. It's coming Monday, so I'm just, you know, just... Yeah, they show it to me, so it's like, yeah, they show it to me, so it's a really good step in the right direction to... um okay get you where you want to be. Does that make sense? Yes. And that's what I've been trying to do, get to that point. And this job I feel will bring me to that point and have me settled. Yes. In a sense. I agree with that. Because what they're showing me is that when you sit down for the interview, um, they're giving me like heart palpitations, like being nervous and wanting to make sure that I say and do all the right things because I really want the position. And what your guides are showing me very clearly is 
that you just need to just be you, right? Put out your personality, yeah. speak in the way that you would normally speak and just allow yourself to be authentic rather than here's the um, cookie cutter kind of responses that some other people would put out. And that's going to set you mm -hmm. apart from all of the other candidates. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Um, yeah, they just, they're showing me you sitting in an office. It's like you're right across the desk from someone and you come in and you sit down and they just show me as long as you're at ease, the whole thing just kind of runs with ease. The whole interview just runs with ease. And okay. the person interviewing you even would say, well, we wouldn't normally blah, blah, blah. But because they feel so comfortable with you, there's something that they'll introduce in that interview that maybe they wouldn't with other people. So it's really important okay. to just be you. Okay. Do you have another question you'd like to ask? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, uh, personal life, I guess I'm just dealing with, I'm just, I'm trying to get myself settled uh, in my career, you know, to get okay. to the pace. I want to be financially. So, I mean, I'm just putting everything else to the back burner right now. Yep. They're showing me, um, they're showing me that earlier on in life, the planning wouldn't have been quite the way that I would have wanted it to be. But now I'm getting to a point where I'm really peculiar and specific about how I need to do all of my financial documents, getting everything in order. And that this yeah. next step is going to help you to get where you want to be so that when you are ready mm -hmm. to fully retire and be done, you're not going to have to worry about it because you've reached that point where this is weird, but this is what they're showing me. It's like, I've reached the point where I want it to be. So my social security is up high enough. I got enough of the retirement and I'm good to go. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, ma'am, it does. Yeah, and they just showed me that you're really trying to set it up so that you can enjoy the last part of your life and not have to work as hard as you did while yeah. you were younger. You just want to be able to relax and enjoy. Yeah, that's all I ask. <laughs> yep. And they're showing, oh yeah, absolutely. And they're showing me that you're really working towards that. And that as long as you continue and say, you know, thank you, God, I know you're going to bring me this. I know this is coming. Keep following through with that and just watch what your spirit guides continue to bring you because you've manifested it. So thank you so much, Evelyn, for being on here. I am so grateful for you and your time. I appreciate you. And thank you to everyone else who was watching this today. I would love to see you. If you want to sign up for a one-to-one -one reading, go to marialegat.com. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Thank you. Thank you.